Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today I'll be showing you how you can turn your logo or just any text in general into a really cool looking electric, fire, or a neon effect. Let's jump right in. All right, so for this effect, we're going to need to download an external plugin that is 100% free. It's made by Video Copilot, and if you're trying to get into motion graphics and visual effects work, I definitely recommend checking out their website. They have a ton of plugins and tutorials, and it's my go-to place for VFX. Anyways, this plugin is called Saber. I'll have two download links in the description below, one for PC and one for Mac. Once you download the file, just run the installer, and it will add the plugin to your After Effects, Effects, and Presets window. Now, once that's installed, let's go ahead and open up After Effects and create a new composition. I'm just going to call this Saber Text and make it 3840 by 2160. All right, so first you're going to need to create a new solid. I'm just going to name this solid Saber to keep things organized, and it doesn't really matter what color you make it. Next, let's go to our Effects and Presets window and search for the Saber plugin. Then just drag that onto our solid layer. You'll see that it created this initial effect, which is already looking kind of cool. All right, next let's create a new text layer and just type whatever you want here. Then go ahead and format the text with the character window. Again, don't worry about color here because we'll be changing that layer. Just get the font and size looking how you want. I'm also going to align my text in the center using the align window and just center it up here. All right, once your text is good, make sure your text layer is selected and head up to layer and go all the way down to auto trace. Then just press OK. This will create a new layer in our composition that has a mask for each character. Now I'm just going to delete my text layer and then let's open up the properties of our new auto trace layer until we see our masks. Then I'm just gonna select these masks and copy them. Again, each of these masks corresponds to each letter or object that you traced. Then I'm just gonna paste these masks onto our Saber layer. After you've copied the masks, go ahead and disable the auto trace layer. All right, now let's select our Saber solid layer and go to effect controls. And here is where we can edit the properties for the Saber effect. The first thing we want to do is drop down the render settings option and under composite settings, select transparent. This is basically telling the effect to make the background transparent. Then let's go under customize core and here we'll change the core type from Saber to layer masks. When we change the setting, you'll see that the Saber effect now conforms to your text. Perfect. Now let's go all the way up to the top of the settings and under this preset dropdown, we can select various styles. So if I select burning, you'll see that it gives us this fire feel. And then if I go to electric, again, it looks like an electricity effect. I'm going to select neon because I really like the way this looks. It almost looks exactly like a neon sign. So once you choose your preset, you have a lot more design options underneath. You can change the color of the effect, and I'm just gonna set it to blue. Then you can also change the intensity and spread. The core size will make your outline thicker or thinner depending on the setting. You can really get down into the weeds and customize the Saber effect to match the exact style you're going for. You don't have to use the preset option to design it. You can start from scratch. However, for the average user, these presets make it super simple to get a really cool effect, especially since there are so many design options to go through. All right, let's say you don't wanna create this effect on just text, and rather you want to use your logo. Well, it works pretty much the exact same way. Make a new solid, apply the Saber effect onto that solid, then just drag your logo file down to your composition timeline, then run Auto Trace, which can be found under the layer menu, then delete or hide your logo file, copy the masks from the new auto trace layer, and paste those onto the Saber solid. Then just set your render settings to transparent and make sure your core type is set to layer masks. And now you'll be able to change the preset to adjust which effect is applied to the logo. All right, so now you know how to apply this effect on text or any image, but you can also apply this effect to a shape. So I'm just going to copy this Saber solid, open up the properties and delete the logo masks, and now with the solid selected, I'm just going to select our ellipse tool and create a circle around this logo. And then I'm just going to center this up. And then you'll see because we added this mask onto this solid directly, the Saber effect is automatically applied for us. Now let's say you want the circle to reveal itself over time. Well, under the customized core dropdown, I can set a keyframe at end offset and set it to 0% and then go a couple of seconds in my timeline and set the end offset to 100%. Then when I play it back, it animates in. If you watched my previous video on arrow animation, this is similar to the trim paths effect, but it's just included in the plugin for you, so you can just use this to reveal your logo, text, or basically any mask you want. If you want to view and export this effect with a transparent background, click on this checkered board icon under the preview window, and then if you add the composition to your render queue, you can select output module here and make sure RGB plus alpha is selected, and then you can overlay these graphics over anything. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. 
As you can see, there is a ton you can do with this plugin, so much more than what I've done in this video. However, I'll let your creativity fly and come up with something on your own. Make sure to send me your finished videos on Twitter or Instagram, and I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with. If this video helped you in any way, please remember to leave a like, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace out.